Well, welcome to the Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones UK premiere. This is at the Odium London Leicester Square Cinema. And the date was 14th of May 2002. That was two days before the opening of the film worldwide. This was the major public premiere for the film. It screened out of competition at Cannes and had a charity premiere in the US, but those were smaller affairs. And of course, episode one had its UK premiere here in July 1999. That was a royal premiere that time, so expectations were high for episode two. This is one of the 20 second TV spots that was playing on a loop endlessly on this big screen. So I'm very familiar with this little sequence. Maybe four or five different TV spots being shown on this screen. There's Lizo, Lizo Mazimba, who's had a long career with the BBC as their entertainment correspondent. There's another TV spot. Lizo's a bit of a geek, so he actually wants to be here. Uh, there's Kate Garraway from ITV. <laughs> Love that little early cosplay. This is Betty Hoskins. She was a TV audience member of on the Graham Norton show. Is our first big star, Warwick Davis. Yeah, of course, he was Wicked the Ewok in Return of the Jedi. He also played the title role in George Lucas's post Star Wars fantasy movie, Willow. Here comes Richard Meadley, my namesake. Big TV presenter on ITV and Channel 4 over the years in the UK. Nice jacket, Rich. Let's see George Lucas himself in the distance there. Zooming in pretty heavily here, so forgive the shaky cam. There's a big pop star, H from Steps. Hey H, what's up Mark? All oh, right, there's uh, Edith Bowman from TV and radio talking to the Emperor Palpatine himself. That was good of George to wave to the crowd there. I cannot believe we're up close, so close to these stars. Ian McDermott, Scottish actor. Wow, how young does Hayden look there? Hayden Christensen playing Anakin Skywalker for the first time in this film. Obviously reprised the role in episode three and more recently in the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series on Disney Plus. Obviously the crowd was singing happy birthday. This was actually George Lucas's birthday. 
I think it was his 58th birthday. Whenever I picture George Lucas, I picture him like this. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Am I ever going to get closer to George Lucas? He's about a meter away from me. It's amazing. Uh, Atomic Kitten Pop Stars. Yeah, they had a, maybe a couple of number ones in the early 2000s in the UK. Don't ask me to name them individually. I think one of them might have been Natasha. That might be Natasha. She was on Celebrity Big Brother. That's the only reason I know the name. Wow, look at this. Hollywood royalty. We've got Samuel L. Jackson, who's obviously Mace Window in the Star Wars prequel trilogy. Saying hi to Halle Berry. At the, at, probably at the peak of her career at this point in time. Just starred in, just shot Die Another Day, the James Bond film, playing Jinx as a, an assassin opposite Pierce Brosnan. The trailer for Die Another Day was attached to episode two, the preview trailer. No appreciation for um, Hayden's performance over the years has definitely, definitely improved. He was so good and overwhelmed. Veteran actor Christopher Lee, who played Count Dooku, uh, but obviously he's very well known for his long screen career. Count Dracula, Scaramanga, the man with the golden gun in James Bond, and uh, Saruman from the Lord of the Rings trilogy from about this time. A great loss, we'll miss him, and he sadly passed away. That is a great lineup, a fantastic lineup of the biggest stars for this premiere. What a shot. Interrupted there by Johnny Vegas, a uh, TV comedian. Well known to UK audiences. Isn't that fantastic? All the stars and the producers and directors out on the balcony waving to the crowd. That didn't happen uh, for episode one. So that was, that was awesome. That was very good of the cast and crew to come out and wave to the crowd. Show their appreciation. There's my mate there who uh, liberated that poster from the side railings. Um, it wasn't the only one. Well, there you go. Did you see this film at the cinema? What did you think? And what do you think of the film now? Were you even at this premiere? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please do like the video. If you want to see more Star Wars and Doctor Who content, subscribe because you don't want to miss it.